Hi, Shelly. Tonight, we need weights for our workout. This is, this is my background all day for my Zoom meetings for work all day. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. I might just keep it. I might just keep it on. <laughs> you should. Yeah. Although I think I'll, just, I'll disappear. <laughs> if you go back too far, you'll fall into the canyon. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're better. That's hilarious. We'll see if it works. <laughs> you have some fun with it, right? <laughs> Cool. Okay, well, it's 5.33, so we're going to get moving here as you guys are popping in and getting set up. We're going to get going. Um, we need weights tonight. I'm going to use two different sets of dumbbells, and that's all um, that we need tonight. So next week, we're going to do mini bands, so you can look forward to that if you bought some mini bands. Um, but yeah, today we have a holiday adventure, choose your own adventure workout. So I'm going to need some audience participation, and if you don't want to have any input, then you just keep your screen black and don't reply to me, and that's fine, okay? But if you want to have a say in your exercises, then you'll have to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or one number that I ask you to hold up. So, all right, so let's get warmed up. We're going to do part of our, well, first, real quick question. Did anybody uh, do any of your holiday countdown calendar that I sent out from the last, from Monday or Tuesday? Anybody? Show of hands? No? Well, Monday you got to cross off anyways because, okay, Booty did. Monday you got to cross off because we did it in class. So that was like a freebie and tonight it's going to be another freebie so see I'm helping you all right so um if you didn't get yesterday that's okay work on it tomorrow okay hi Angela okay so let's go and get warmed up you know turn on speaker view mute yourself if you're not already muted and we are going to go into some hinges first so fingers behind your ears good morning I just love to start workouts with these you guys know that we do it all the time we're gonna do 12 of these because this is our exercise of today. So hinge at your hips, knees are soft. They're also a good warm up for kettlebell swings, which you'll see later, and single leg deadlifts, which you'll see later. So good to get those hips moving. And one more time, and let's take our feet a little bit wider and go into squat. So when we squat, our butt goes back, nice and deep, knees point toward the toes, hands can be wherever you'd like. Good, keep going. We'll do six more right here. So big squats. And we have lots of squatting tonight as well. So again, good way to warm up. One more time. And take it down to the ground. So squat all the way down, walk your hands out. You can be in a plank on your knees or toes or elbows. We've got 45 seconds on the clock here for these planks. So we're just gonna get right after it. So if you need to start on your knees, Please do that. We're going to go through this two times as part of our warm up. Just so you guys can see how easy it is to fit into your day, right? No excuses. While you have something warming up in the microwave, while you have your coffee brewing, you just start doing good mornings and squats. Almost there, guys. We've got about 20 seconds left. Good. Hopefully, you're feeling strong from all the planks that we did. On Monday, you're going to have some more plank options today. And rock back and stretch right here. Good. Walk your hands to your feet, please. And let's start it all the way over. Bend your knees, roll yourself all the way up. Fingers come behind the ears, and good morning. There's 12. <clears throat> so again, really feeling that lengthening down the back of your legs. <clears throat> Keeping your abdominals tight and pulled to your back. Good. Keep going, keep going. We've got six more. So there's no need to go further than just a hip hinge with the belly button pointed to the floor. You don't need to come all the way down and fold yourself in half like that. Just as it's comfortable for your back. Let's do one more. And then we're going to take our feet wide and do a different squat variation here. We're going to be touch the ground and reach up. So these are still squats, right? They're just a different variation. <clears throat> so again, when you're doing your Holiday countdown, you can do any kind of squats you want. Maybe you want to make them squat jumps. Maybe you want to do wide squats, narrow squats. Doesn't matter to me. And let's do four more. And two more. Feeling that heart rate come up. And done. All right, walk yourself down to a plank position. I'm going to do a plank on my elbows this time. 45 second plank. Always a little longer than we prefer. That's okay. 
Remember, you can do knee tap in your plank just to keep things interesting. But the most important thing here is that we're not here in this position with our back rounded and looking at our toes. We're nice and flat looking out toward the end of our mat. And we're halfway through this plank. So keep going. Maybe you wanna march your feet. Remember these options from Monday when we planked for 30 seconds over and over and over. Choose what you need to do to keep your mind in the game. Come on. You've got five seconds left right here. And to your knees. Good. Let your hips drop. Lift your chest. Get a nice stretch for the abdominals. And then we're going to rock back into a child's pose. And stay right here for just a moment. Go ahead and take it up to a downward facing dog. Hips are high. Let's bend both knees and then straight both legs. So just kind of get some mobility going. And I'm gonna take you through all of our exercises for round one. And then we'll get to pick and choose a little bit. Right leg comes up, send it forward into a lunge and hold right here. Good, send it back, downward facing dog. Left leg comes up and send it forward into a lunge and hold. Good, let's do it again. Back, downward facing dog, right leg up, and step forward and lunge. Your knee is right over your ankle. One more time. Left leg up, and send it forward, hold. Good job, we'll finish in a downward facing dog. Walk your hands and feet towards one another. Bend both knees and roll yourself all the way up. Take your arms, rotate them up, back and around. Good. Now we're going to take a movement to the side. So rotate to the side. Come back up the middle. Rotate to the other side. And just go at your own pace here. So sit at those, still those arm circles, but really enjoying some movement through the trunk. And one more on each side, wherever you're at. Good. Last one here. All right. So we are going to go ahead and if you have two sets of weights, grab your light set of weights. If you don't have two sets of weights and you want to just do this without weight and just use your hands as pretend weights, you can. We're going to go through everything at a modified version, and then we're going to go through it with our heavier weights if that is something that you uh, feel comfortable doing. Okay, so with your light weights, kettlebell swing. So either one weight together, or either one weight or both weights together, up to you. Feet are hip distance apart, okay? We're going to start with our back flat. Our weight's out in front of us, swing them between our legs, and then squeeze your butt to lift. Okay, so let's do this for 30 seconds as just a warm up for all of our exercises. This is also gonna help you decide if you wanna choose the exercise that is in front of you in your holiday adventures. So if kettlebell swings don't work, you can do good mornings. You could also just take a deadlift right here. Anything that's in the hinging family is where I'd like you to be. And we've got three seconds left and done. Okay, so that is your kettlebell swing. Unfortunately, that you don't have an option to choose on that one. We're just gonna do them to start every round. But take it down to the ground, elevated push-ups. Okay, this means that one hand is elevated, it's on top of the weight. Okay, start on your knees. I'm gonna give you a couple options here. So let's do five with our hand on one weight, and then we'll do five with our hand on the other side. All right, switch the weight to the other side. These are easy push-ups. If you need to, modify your push-ups by doing them in tabletop position, just like this. All right, guys, here's an option to make it harder. Take your weight, if you're using it, and place your hand on top of it. If you're not using a weight, you can just watch and see what this looks like for later. And we'll do five on one side. You'll notice your core works a ton harder to stay stable and switch to the other side. All right, so stabilize, put your whole hand on that weight. And five. Woo! Hips wanna rotate on this one, we're not gonna let that happen. And done, okay. Those are your elevated push-ups. Next up, gorilla rows. So come to your feet. These are slow movements. I want you to take a pause every time you reset to the middle. So either with your hands or with your light weights, roll your shoulders back in place, 
reach the, or sorry, hinge at your hips, okay? And you're gonna reach across and pull, and then reach across and pull. So it's slow, and we're gonna get some movement here through the trunk. Let's go ahead and begin our time of 30 seconds. Right here, reach. So really you're not coming out of this squat or this hinge the whole time, okay? Your legs are gonna feel this. Your obliques are gonna feel it, especially if you take the challenge and use heavier weight once we get into this adventure. Let's do one more on each side, and last one right there, and done. All right, weights come to the ground. A forward walking plank. So you're gonna bring your body down to the ground. <clears throat> we'll start on our knees for this warm up. So you're more on the front of your knees, not on your kneecaps. Okay, and you're gonna walk your hands to the end of your mat and then bring them right back under your shoulders. Begin now, walk forward, forward, back, back. Now my butt is tucked under, okay? If you need to, you could be on your knees in more of a tabletop position, a lot gentler. Another option is to be on your elbows, and this is more of an army crawl, forward and back. Just as challenging, it just saves the wrists. Okay, let's do one more on each side. And that is your forward walking plank. All right, so moving on with our lighter weights again, still warming up. This is a sumo squat with kicks, okay? So, <clears throat> weights start right at your chest. Feet are wide, so in a really wide stance here, toes turned out, big deep squat. You're gonna press off one foot, kick forward. So join me now, and if you don't want to kick, maybe that's not great for your balance, you can just lift your knee. So squat and kick, going wide, and remember, we're not doing the can-can and going across our body, just straight forward. So take it slow, keep going. Woo, getting hot here already. And let's do one more on each side. And done. Okay, hold on to your weights. If you're holding on your weights, keep them in your hands. This next one is called a man maker, and it's a variation of a burpee. Add some rotations into it. So I'm gonna give you the man maker first, and then I'm gonna do the modification for those of you that don't wanna do this move. Okay, so you're gonna squat down to the ground. So join me now. Walk back into a plank. One push up. Okay, come all the way up. You're gonna rotate onto one side, and then you're gonna rotate to the other side. <clears throat> and then you're gonna bring your feet in a squat, and we're gonna walk all the way back up, reach high. Okay, let's do that again. I'm gonna show the modification. Modification, you're gonna squat, tap back, tap back, and push up, okay? So let's do that man maker again, walk back, push up, rotate to one side, to the other side, and walk or jump your feet in, and rise. Everybody, let's do one more. Whichever one you're doing, it doesn't matter. Do one more, and, oops, I forgot the rotation. And make sure you rotate to each side, and walk your feet in, and then overhead press right there. Okay, bent over curls is next. So, you're still finishing up, come to your feet, hinge at your hips, flat back, hands are down, right on top of your thighs, go a little bit lower, now you're gonna bring your hands to your ears. So curl up, slowly lower back down. The key with this move is that we're going very slow in the negative phase. That's working the eccentric side of this move. It's, very, it's a lot more challenging to go slow instead of letting gravity pull the weights down. If you need to, you can do one arm at a time to make that a little more gentle, if that feels better. Let's do one more and release. Good, come back up to your feet. I'm sorry, stand up. We're going down to the ground for this next move. It's a single arm press. Now, there's two levels, and the second level I love because our core gets to work. So option one, your legs are straight out on the mat. Arm is out to the side. 
Option two, knees are bent, kind of a dead bug position here. Okay, you're going to do a chest press with one arm only. So from this position, press up and down with one arm. And even if you have your light weight, you're still gonna notice that the opposite side of the body, then your moving arm is wanting to pull off the ground. So your job is to fight to keep your hips and ribs on the ground. Let's switch to the other side, okay? And press up and down. And remember, the option right here, legs flat on the ground, it's a lot gentler. If that feels better for you. Let's do three more, and two, and one, and done. Okay, uh, while we're down here, let's do some side plank rotation. So with or without the weight, I'm gonna show you the modification on your knee. Okay, one knee down, top leg straight. Put your weight in your hand, and you're gonna start with your weight down by your elbow. And we're gonna rotate up, and then rotate back down. So this is the modified version. Okay, full version up here on your feet if you want to go there when we move into our full sets. And done. Let's switch to the other side, just flip end to end. And we have one more move after this, and then we get to have a little fun picking and choosing. So up onto your knee, weight in your hand, reach to your elbow, and pull open. So if you can see, my hips are not doing the moving. They're not rotating down like this. It's just my rib cage moving. And let's do one more, and done. Good, come to your feet, bring your weights with you. I know, a lot of up and down right now, it won't necessarily be like that when we get going. It could be, but it won't necessarily. Okay, on this next one, take your weights. Your palms are gonna be pointing towards your face. Okay, so palms are pointing toward the face. Okay, we're gonna do the upper body first, and then we'll add the lower body. You're gonna rotate open, and press up, and then close your hands back up to your base. So from the front view, rotate up, and then bring it back in. Good, so those are the arms, and if you just wanna do arms only, you can just do arms. If you wanna do legs, you're gonna step back into a lunge as you press. Okay, so try a couple with me. Rotate open, and it's amazing how light weights with the legs and the arms at the same time become very challenging, especially for balance. So, choose your options wisely. One more on each side, woo! And last one, and done. Okay, set those weights down. This is a really great time to get a drink, so do that, and then we are going to get going. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna start each round with 20 kettlebell swings. It's non-negotiable, you have to do it, <laughs> okay? Uh, the only option you have is that if you wanna do deadlifts or good mornings instead of the swing, that is your modification. I'm gonna be your counter again. We're gonna do 20 kettlebell swings. So you can stay with me and not have to count. Um, if you wanna go faster than me, I would love that, but then you have to plank until I'm done, okay? <laughs> So that is the idea, we're gonna plank until I'm done if you choose to go faster. So no standing around, getting nice while we're covering. All right, so pick up your weight. Heavy weight for kettlebell swings. Okay, 20 of these guys. Again, if you don't wanna count, stay with me. Okay, if you wanna go faster, you do plank until I'm done. Here we go, 20 swings, ready, set, and let's go. One, I'll count out on the fives. Okay, there's five. And we're at 10 right here. Make sure your belly button's pulled in tight. And there's 15. Hopefully you grabbed your heavy weights and you're feeling this more than in the warm up. Two more. All right, good. So, 20 kettlebell swings, check, done. All right, here's where you come in. You get three choices. Elevated push-ups is number one. Sumo squat with kicks, number two, and 20. Um, single arm chest presses is number three. So what I need you to do is hold up your number right now. And I'll see majority, majority rules. I see one, one, one. Those of you who are not participating with your screen on, you can either give me a 
Okay, I see one. Okay, I think we're gonna do number one. Elevated push-ups it is. So this is 20 total. 10 on one side, 10 on the other, okay? If you get done before me, then you get to plank. Remember how we did this before? Two options, upright or flat on the ground. Here we go. Try to do them on your toes. Ready, set, go. I'll count out, five fives. There's five right there. Ooh. And that was 10 on that side. Woo! Remember, knees or toes, tabletop is fine too. Just keep going. There's five. Ugh. Okay, if you're still going, you've got a couple moments to finish up. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose on this next one. If you can see my fun little board, it goes right down the line to the next exercise, which is going to be gorilla rows. So I want you to grab your heavier weights. This is the one where we have a slow pull on each side. So heavy weights. Our count is 20 total. So hopefully you're done with those push-ups. Shoulders back in place. 20 rows total. So here's one, two. Come on, get after it. I'm coming up on 10 right here. Come on, can you reach further across your midline? Almost there, guys. We have one more on each side right here. And that'll do it right there. Stand up. Woo! You can set those down. Okay, two options for you. Forward walking plank, number one. Man makers, number two. I know what you're gonna choose. Forward walking plank, remember? Army crawl or man maker, number two. What do we got? Number one, number two, number two. Oh, a tiebreaker over there. Number one it is. Okay, forward walking plank. You're gonna lead with one arm for 10 and then the other arm for 10. So down to the ground. Here's what I mean by that. Right arm would lead and then left arm would lead. 10, leading with each arm. Go. Come on, these are gonna be long and hard. If you want to, take your hands to the corners of your mat, go a little bit lighter. Make it more challenging. Woo! I'm coming up on 10, finishing my right side. Now we're gonna go left side. I've got five left. Come on, keep the pace, guys. Woo! I'm gonna give you a couple more moments to finish if you're still going. You're done. You're planking. Okay? Until I get that next exercise going for you. Good job, good job. Okay, so. We are done with that round, okay? We just went right down the line. This little spider chart, went right down the line. We're gonna start over, 20 kettlebell swings, right? So this time, you may wanna choose some different exercises, or we can just repeat the same ones. It's up to you. So pick up your weight, 20 kettlebell swings, starting this back off. Interlock your fingers, please. And we're ready. We're set. Let's go right here, 20. Good, there's five. And there's 10. Come on, keep that chest lifted. There's 15. I know you guys are doing great. And there's 20. All right, so same options again, one. Elevated push-ups, two, sumo squat kicks, three, chest press, single arm chest press. So one, two, or three, two, I see two, two. Oh, one, <laughs> he wants the push-ups. All right, sumo squat with kicks. So with your heavier weights, 
Put them at your chest right here, okay, or on your shoulders. Go big. It's gonna, you're going to feel your legs so much stronger by adding that extra weight. I know one dumbbell seems like it's a great idea. Go for two. All right? So here's our count. 20 total. 20 total. So ready. We're going to count the squats. Here we go. Here's one. And two. Good. Here's four. Take your feet wide. Can you kick with your heel? Eight. Woo! Almost there, halfway. Ugh, I always say almost there when we're halfway. I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> we've crossed the midpoint. Are you guys using heavy weights? Are you feeling the difference? Almost there, two more. And last one, done. All right, Eric, you're gonna be so happy because there's no choice. The arrow down points right to man makers. Yes, 10 man makers. I'm gonna show you that option again. With your weights, squat, lunge, lunge, and press up. So if you do not wanna go down and up, choose the option to lift heavy weights while you're in this modified position, okay? That's one. All right, if you wanna stay pace with me, I'll count for you. I'm going big, guys. We're gonna try it out. Let's do 10 total. Here we go, squat down. Walk or jump, one push up, rotate, and rotate other side. Jump in, and arms overhead. That's one. And maybe you want to modify a little bit more and take out a push-up or take out rotations. That's okay. This is your workout. There's two. It's like victory every time we put our hands in the air. Come on, guys. Remember, if you're done early, you get to plank. There's no sitting around watching me work. Here's four. I'm gonna go for five with these heavy weights and then I'm gonna drop down because they are getting to be a lot. All right, halfway. For those of you that are keeping pace with me, maybe you're cruising through this, going a little bit faster. That's great. Enjoy some core work at the end. Whew. That speeds things up right there. Creating nice, strong wrist every time you rotate with your hand on the weight. I got three more. Come on, stick with it, guys. Choose that upright option if you feel like you can't do any more on the ground. Two more for me. Some of you might be enjoying some planks. Remember, when you're planking, you can march your feet. You can do knee taps. One more, if you're on my pace, one more. Woo! That felt great. Ah, stronger every single rep. If you're still going, finish up. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to finish those up. If you are done with all 10, get a drink. All right, nobody gets a choice on this one. The arrow points straight down, bent over curl. So if you remember these ones with your weight, shoulders are back, curl, and release. We're doing 20 of these, but remember, it's slow on the way down. So like two counts on the way down, one count on the way up, something like that. Go heavy for as long as you can, and then decrease weight if you need to, okay? And you can do single arms if you want. All right, hinge. At the hips. Not sure if I can lift these, but we're gonna try, okay? You might see me fail. All right, 20, let's go. Up. 
We're gonna slow down. Full extension here. Once your arms go straight in the bottom. Sometimes we lift heavy weight and it's we protect ourselves by not straightening our arms. Try it out. Oh, I'm gonna drop weight to the halfway point here. Oh, those 15s are great. I need Santa to bring me 10 pound weights for Christmas. Come on. Good, if you can, bend over just a little bit more. Bring your hands all the way to your ears. I've got three left if you're staying with my pace. And one more for me, plank when you're done. And whew. all right, you're finishing up. I'm gonna give you an extra five, 10 seconds here. So enjoy that. We are gonna try to go through this one more time with these moves before we switch to the next level. Okay, so starting over, 20 kettlebell swings. That's where we go. Whew. Are you ready? Heavy weight. Grab a hold of it. If on this third time you need to do deadlifts, there's no shame in that. You gotta do what you need to do to stay safe for this workout. 20, ready, set. Brace the core, let's go. 20. There's five. And there's 10 right there. Giving myself a big glute squeeze at the top. Hope you are too. There's 15. And done. All right. So, choose your adventure. Number one, elevated push-ups. Number two, sumo squats with kicks. Number three, single arm chest press. Remember, that's the dead bug. It's working our core. You choose, one, two, or three. I see three, I see three, I see three. <laughs> Undecided, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, it looks like three, one. So on the floor, one weight, I want you to go heavy. Okay, go heavy on this one. Trust me, put your light weight next to you. You can always use it, but try a heavy weight. Okay, you can start with your legs flat on the ground. Or go to dead butt. We're doing 20 total. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. It's fast. All right? Fast in the sunset. There's not that many reps. Okay. So this is the harder option. Like flat on the floor, easy option. And let's go. 10. Try not to let your shoulder and hip go off the floor. That was halfway. On one side, that is. And 10 on that side for me. Switch arms. Now remember, it's okay. Maybe one side is stronger than the other and you need to put your legs down. Please do what you need to do. If this is too easy, move your legs further away from your midline. Keep the knees bent. Ah, uh, not easy. <laughs> Three. And two. And done. All right, not so bad. Okay, moving on guys. Lunge with the rotational press. This is the one where you had two options. Your palms face in, you push up, and you pull back together. You can do legs, or I'm sorry, arms only, or you can add the lunge into this exercise. So I'm gonna do the lunge. I'm recommending that you go with your lighter weights on this one because it is a lot of upper body strength needed with your lunging, okay? just to balance and keep those weights stable. So palms start in, here's the deal. You're gonna do 10 total. So it's not really that many, but you're gonna feel this like crazy with the rotation. So ready, here we go. There's one, close it up. And two, and three, four, five, six. Come on, big rotations, seven. Eight. One more time. And 10. All right, like I said, not too bad. To the ground you go. Side plank with the rotation. So knees or toes, one weight needed. Okay, and then we're done with this whole set. So moving on. So you've got 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Okay, one knee, 
or up on your feet. Take your weight, start by your elbow, and let's pull 10 times. And here's one, and two. Maybe you wanna do this without weight. Good, I'm coming up on five right here. I've got two more on this side, and we're gonna make a quick switch to the other side. So if you're still finishing up, you keep going. Okay, remember, I give you time at the end to finish those reps, so don't feel like you need to rush. Okay, on this side, let's do 10. If you're with me, we're coming up on five. Woo, can you squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back? Three to go right here. Come on, stay strong right till the end. Ugh. And last one, done. All right, take this moment right now for about a 45 second recovery. Get a drink of water, reset, towel off if you need to. We're gonna go through our next exercises so that you know what's coming. And then we're gonna pick and choose and try to get three rounds in, okay? So, each round is gonna start with jumping jacks. 20 jumping jacks. You can modify your jumping jacks to begin with, okay? Modify like this, or you can do squat, okay? Squat, squat to the side with arms overhead, or you can do the full jumping jack. Completely up to you. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds more, and then we're gonna go. Okay, you ready? Rock and roll, 20 jacks, ready? Let's go, come on, up. I've got two more. As soon as you're done, stop. Grab your one of your light weights, only one. Okay, again, we're going through these at a modified pace and intensity so that we can go hard in just a moment. Goblet squat. These are slow, okay? So, I'm gonna have you go two counts down, hold one count in the bottom, and then come quick up to your toes, and then go slow back down, hold, quick up to your toes. Okay, ready? Let's go, 30 seconds. Feet wide, toes out, slow down, hold, hold, quick up. Do it again, slow down, hold, quick up. Now when we go into the full version of these, you'll have the option to jump after the hold. So it would look like this, jump, and then go right back down. Up, let's do one more here, up. So you can tell those are gonna be really fun. Okay, after this, side lunge, with a row. So you're gonna step to your right, your weight is gonna be in your left hand, okay? So we're gonna step to our right, and we're gonna pull up to the side, okay? So let's go, side lunge, and pull. Now, if your knees don't feel stable in this position, you have the option to squat, and then row up. Okay, so it's a little bit more stable for the knees, if you prefer. One more on this side. And then let's switch to the other side, okay? So again, option one, squat to make it a little gentler. Option two, full side lunge. So I'm gonna show you from the profile here. My side lunge, my butt goes back, and my knee stays in line with my toes. I reach across my midline to pull up. Let's do one more, and done. All right, no weight for this one, single leg deadlift. So you're gonna stand on one foot, hands down by your side or out to the side. You're gonna hinge and then stand all the way up. Same leg, hinge all the way up. From the profile, flat back and stand tall. Okay, remember those hinges we did in the beginning? Then we start doing them on one leg and we feel everything working so much harder. Switch to the other leg, hinge and all the way up. And you don't have to go down as far as I'm going. Maybe it's just a couple of inches and then back up. But what I don't want to see is all the way down to the ground like this. It puts a lot of strain on your low back, which is not ever necessary. One more. And done. We'll do that with weight later on. All right, lunge and snatch. We're going to do the upper body first, and then we'll put the lunge into it. So grab one weight, one weight only. 
Okay, I want you to be in a squat position. You're gonna hinge. You're gonna pull your weight up like you're zipping up your coat all the way up to above your head, okay? So hinge from here and quick pull and thrust your hips forward and move that weight up, okay? Hinge and good. One more like this. Now we're gonna add a lunge into it. So if you would like to, you're gonna lunge. Okay, that becomes your hinge. And then you're gonna rise. And you're gonna lunge and you're gonna rise. Let's try it together a couple times. Lunge and rise one more time and done. Switch to the other side, snatch only. So squat and push up. Good, zip up nice and tall. Feel your hips thrusting forward. One more and then we add the lunge. Okay, it looks like this. So lunge down and up. You wanna keep your weight close to your body as it's traveling. And this might be one that you use lightweight the whole time. And done. All right, so that's your lunge and snatch. Hollow hold on your back. No weights for this first one. Put your arms right up above your chest. Okay, knees at 90. Press out, pull back in. Press out. When we do this later on, it's gonna be with weights in our hands. All right, and one more, and done. All right, guys, bent knee deadlift, hands wide, shoulders rolled back, weights in your hands, same light weights, bent knee deadlift, squat down, and rise. Like you're lowering something to the ground and rise back up. So let's do two more, and last one here. And done. Okay, I know. We're getting shy on time here. Twisting row. Are you guys ready? Just have your mind blown. It's a little bit different move. I want you to take both weights, palms face towards your legs. Then take your right hand and face it forward. Now bend over. You're going to row in this position. So row. Guess what you're going to do? Flip your hands and push it down. Row. Flip your hands. Row. Flip your hands. I know. A little crazy. Good for the brain to be challenged. Always flip at the top. And done. Okay. Back to the ground. Actually, single leg hops. We know how to do single leg hops. Hop, 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 hop. I'm not going to have to demonstrate that one to the ground. Crab press. Use your weights. Put them underneath your shoulders. Okay. You're going to Lift your hips up. Now, you are not comfortable doing this move with your hips off the ground. Keep your hand, your butt on the ground, and you're just gonna do your presses from here. This is your lowest intensity option, but still engaging your core and your shoulders. Next level is in this crab position, okay? You're gonna brace the core, soften your supporting elbow, and you're gonna press up and down. So you're alternating which arm goes up. Okay, we don't need to do very many of those to know that they're fun, right? Okay, let's go from the top. Jumping jacks, and then I'll give you guys a choice from three different options. So, 20 jumping jacks. Ready, set, here we go. Jack it out. I have two more and done. Okay, here we go. Those of you that are still finishing up, no problem. Number one, goblet squat with a jump, number one. Number two, lunge with a snatch. Number three, that twisting row that we just did. Remember the over under one? So one, two, or three, goblet squat, lunge and snatch, or twisting. Three, three. What are you doing, Kathy? Is that? Dark, is that one? Okay, one, three, three. I think we have a tie, I need a tiebreaker. <laughs> Two, what did you say, Eric? Two, a three, okay, there it is, three, okay. So we're gonna do the rotation or the twisting row. So pick up your heavy weights, pick up your heavy weights. Here we go. So we are doing uh, 10 total, okay? So right hand forward, left hand points in, Ready? We're going slow. Here's one, twist, two, twist, three, twist, 
four, twist, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, hopefully you went heavy, ten, and done. That wasn't so bad. Okay, next up, crab overhead press. Unfortunately, you don't get a choice. That's where we're at. I'm going to recommend you use your lighter weights or okay, if you want to keep your butt on the ground, you can go heavier. We're doing 10 total. So weights underneath, hips are down, brace the core, all count for us. Ready, set, let's go. And one, two, three, four. Remember option, butt on the ground, rock back a little bit, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Not so bad. Okay, two options. Hollow hold with the leg pressed in and out, okay? Or single leg hops, okay? So only two options. Hollow hold with leg press, number one. Number two, single leg hops. I see number one. I see number two. I see number one. Two. I need a tiebreaker. Shelly. One or two, one, it is. Okay, hollow hold with leg press. Get your weights. I want you to go heavy if you can. All right, so land your back. Heavy weights go right above your chest. Oh, those of you that have done the 300 with me, this is in the same family as the wipers, okay? So arms are up and knees are at 90. You're gonna press your legs out and pull back in. You ready? We've got 10 of these slow. Two counts out, two counts in, that was one. Here's two, arms wider to make it harder. And here's three, four, stay with me, five. Good, arms are straight without blocking. Go lower if you want, eight, nine, and one more time, and 10, done. All right, no choice on this one, everybody up. Bent knee deadlift, pick up your heavy weights. Palms face forward, go heavy, okay? <clears throat> You've only got 20 of these, not bad. <laughs> All right, so feet just a little wider than hips, shoulders pulled back, I'll count us out. Ready, set, here we go. And here's one. Three, so even if you're going with lighter weights, I want you to stay at a slow pace so you can really feel your glutes and hamstrings. Work to get you back up. There's five. You're also feeling your back working like crazy to keep your arms out away from the body. Make sure you're taking deep inhales and exhales here. That was halfway. Come on, tuck your chin in. Sometimes we stick our chins out. Pull it back. If these are easy, move your hands wider away from your body. That's 15. Oh, let's do five more, come on. We love these. Come on, one more time, and done. Woo! Quick drink of water, starting back at the top. We have time for one more round, maybe two if we're lucky, but one more for sure. Jumping jacks to start us off. All right. 20 jumping jacks, get ready, get set, and go. That was 10. One, two, or three. Come on. Two, three, three. You guys like that row, huh? Or you just don't want to do lunge and snatch. I know what it is. Come on, give it a try. Give it a try. I got two twos. Will you guys try it with me? Okay, good. <laughs> then twist your arm. Here we go. Lunge and snatch. Now, I'm telling you, you don't have to do your heaviest weight. I okay, wouldn't recommend it if you're new to this move, okay? If you've done snatches quite a bit, you can go heavier, but listen to your body, please. We're gonna do all one side, all the other, 10 on each, ready? So lunge position, right hand has the weight, hinge, 
And ready, set, and lift it up. Remember, you can do this without the lunge. Here's three, and four, and six. One more time on this side. Done. Quickly switch to the other side. If you're still finishing, do that. And lunge. There's one. Zip it up quick. Three. There's seven. Come on, one more time. Done. Oh. See, it wasn't so bad, it wasn't so bad. All right, now you have the choice to go twisting row, you guys all want to do that, okay? Or the hollow hold leg press. So number one, twisting row. Number two, hollow hold with the leg press. Twos, I see a one, I see two, two, I have twos, one right there all the way, okay. Hollow hold leg press, get those heavy weights up again. I'm using 15, guys. Come on, sweat with me. Arms up, knees at 90. We've got 10 of these bad boys. Wanna work harder? Move your arms away from your midline. Here we go. There's 10. Eight. Coming up on halfway right here. Option one leg if you need it. Oh, three to go. Come on, push, pull. One more. And done. All right. Woo. There's no other option but bent knee deadlift to finish this off. This will be our last exercise. 20 total reps. Go heavy. You know how that felt. Your forearms were aching. They were getting so strong. So let's do it right here. Shoulders back. And if this isn't a good move for your body, do it with low weight or no weight. Ready? Arms open. And let's begin. Here's 20. Go slow. Good, that was five right there. Come on, just like you're sitting down in a chair or lowering something down to the ground. You're at the halfway point. Come on, stay with it, 10 more. Don't give up on this last move. In fact, make it more challenging. Move your arms away from your body. Woo. We've got five left. Can you finish with me? The answer, yes, always yes. Oh, everything should be shaking. One more time, come on, one more. Done. And set your weights down. We did it. It is time to stretch and recover. All right, rotate. Take some strain off the low back. Woo. When you rotate, always make sure that your knees go with your toes. Whew. All right, we're gonna rotate up high to down low. Up high. Just let your arms swing. You're gonna feel that stretch in your upper back, in your chest. One more. And then go the other side, reach. So we did full body tonight. Even if we missed some of those exercises, don't worry, we still got our entire body worked. And some of the ones that we didn't get as many of, guess what, I might bring them back next week. <laughs> Just for fun. Last one, and done. All right, take your hands together, hinge forward at your hips and back, round your back a little bit, okay? And now brace your core, arms come up all the way, squeeze your butt, separate at the top, pull your elbows down like you're up against the wall. Good. And let's go down again. Hinge and then round. Engage your core, lift up. Separate your hands, wiggle your fingers. Elbows pull down. Good work. All right, from here, let's take one leg back into a nice straight leg lunge. So straight leg lunge, heel to the ground. Okay, we're gonna reach down a little bit deeper, straight leg in the back, and then bring everything all the way up, hold. So really feel your hip flexor, and do it again, down low, 
and up high. All right, you're gonna walk that back foot in a touch and hold on to it. Lean back. And then set that foot behind you and then reach up and over to the side. All right, front foot is gonna step to the back. Front foot steps to the back. Hold there. Get deeper into that lunge. Your knee is over your ankle. And then reach up. Good, let's do two more like that. Trying to drop that back heel to the ground. And all the way up. All right, walk your back foot in and hold on to it. Stay right here, lift tall. And then take that foot behind, both arms go over your head. And release, all right. Feet go wide here, let's just lunge side to side a little bit. Who are like, everything works so hard tonight, so you might feel some soreness in areas you haven't felt it yet. And that's always good. Stay to one side and rotate. So if you haven't printed off your holiday countdown calendar, you need to do that. Or just keep a note of it in your own personal calendar of when you got them done. But you can win a prize at the end of the month. I like to give prizes. Big squat down, roll yourself all the way up. And take your head to one side. Tuck your chin, roll to the other side, and tuck the chin down the middle. Walk your feet back in. As your head comes up, roll your shoulders back and around. And feel free to stretch longer if you need it. Always a good thing. But we are done with our time tonight. So hope you guys had fun with our holiday choose your own adventure workout. There's really nothing holiday about it except for that I just wrote it on the board. <laughs> so, but that's okay, right? I have my Christmas tree for you. <laughs> How are you guys doing this week, today? If you have to go, I'll, t I'll see you later. <laughs> good. Angela, good to see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sahar. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye, guys, too. But I'm good. How's everything in your world? Oh, it's good. Everything's great. Good. Yeah. We're just enjoying another week. One more week of school. So the kids are excited about that. And then, you know. Great, so. They're at home though, right? Yeah, we're at home anyways. But I mean, they still have to yeah. work, right? So they. <laughs> they oh, absolutely, yeah. You know that yeah, just... versus playing, like we all do, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're doing yeah. good. So, how about you, Kathy? What have you been up to? Um, just usual stuff. My son was here. Oh, good. He lives in Kentucky. Cool. He left today, but yeah. Oh, that's great. So yeah. Hannah, okay, do you guys know each other? Have you ever met before? Other than here. I, no. I've seen your face around the office, but I'm not sure if we've met. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Are too. you guys both county? Yep. I'm county. Yeah. Okay. I'm county, yeah. Yeah, and you're, you're county too, right, Hannah? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Well, now if you guys ever have the chance to meet each other again, then <laughs> you'll know. Exactly, right? someday. I know. Someday. Yeah. We'll be back together. What department are you? What department are you in, Kathy? HR. 